What's bigger than a Saturn V and can take men directly to the moon without stopping in Earth orbit? Nova. And that's what we're talking about today on Vintage Space. I've talked a little bit about different modes of getting to the moon in previous videos. One of the first forerunners was one called Direct Ascent. Direct Ascent was basically the idea that the simplest and most straightforward way to the moon was the best, going directly from the Earth to the moon. It was also a method preferred by science fiction writers. To get a spacecraft directly to the moon, Werner von Braun, most notable as the engineer behind the Saturn V, envisioned a rocket he called Nova, and it dwarfed the Saturn V, which in itself is massive. The thing is 363 feet tall and if you've ever seen one in a museum, it's astoundingly massive. The Saturn V used five F1 engines in the first stage to generate a total of 7.5 million pounds of thrust. The Nova used eight F1 engines, each generating 1.5 million pounds of thrust for a total of 12 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. On top of that first stage were two upper stages. The second stage used four liquid hydrogen M1 engines to produce 4.8 million pounds of thrust. And the third stage used one J2 engine with 200,000 pounds of thrust. Though direct ascent started out as the favored method to go to the moon, it began to fall out of favor as the end of decade deadline loomed ever closer on the horizon. There were other options on the table that I've talked about in other videos, including Earth Orbit Rendezvous and Lunar Orbit Rendezvous, which I've detailed in this video right here. In April of 1962, NASA decided to delay awarding contracts for the Nova rocket, hoping that somehow the mission would come off with just one Saturn V. By the end of the year, the Saturn V was selected as the single rocket to launch Apollo to the moon, and the Nova was kind of left on the back burner and eventually fell by the wayside. So we never got to see the power of the Nova rocket. And we don't even have the power of the Saturn V anymore. The last time it launched was to take the Skylab space station into orbit in 1973. But NASA is on track to surpass the Saturn V with the SLS rocket slated to fly hopefully in 2017. So what do you guys think would have happened if we'd actually gone the direct ascent route and had the Nova rocket in our arsenal? Not just then, but also today. Let me know in the comments below and of course leave any questions, comments, or ideas for future episodes in the comments below as well. Be sure to follow me on Twitter for daily vintage space updates and with new episodes going up right here every Tuesday and Friday. Subscribe so you never miss an episode.